molten. Place this up with it. Shining Angel and I will oh, take nice. that, baby. And oh, <laughs> dude. I got three ultras and two of them were the same. What's up guys and welcome back to another epic versus. In this video, we got a fellow Yugi tuber. In this video, his name is Ryan, better known as Cardbreaker GT, but some people might call him the Ginger Thor. What's up, man? Welcome to the video. How's it going? Excited to be here. Cardbreaker GT making an appearance. This is gonna be a lot of fun. Oh yes. And of course, we'll talk a little bit about the rules before we talk about these top pull items here. The rules for the versus is as follows. If it breaks the $1 mark, that is of course one point. If it breaks $5, that's two points. If it breaks $10, that is three points. $20 is four points. $50 is five points. And the coveted six pointer is breaking $100. And right now there's only one card that does break $100, but we kind of changed the rules a little bit in this one where we're only be pricing out the super rares, ultra rares and secret rares and of course the total points for the verse will be towards the end so definitely stay tuned for that now ryan my boy card breaker gt let's uh, let's talk about the high value pulls here the first of which is that 100 dollar a card right now is the cyber harpy later at 101 dollars and 75 cents the second highest being copycat at $69.83 as it is recording session. And the third highest is of course our boy, the Blue Eyes White Dragon at $40.90. So actually a lot of these cards are pretty decent values for, for what we see. So um, I guess without further ado, let's roll into the pack battle. All right, so um, being that you are first time here, uh, Ryan, um, I guess you can go first. All right, so this is gonna be a lot of fun, guys. Obviously, we do have the brand new retro pack. And like our friend mentioned, we are chasing those big grails, those secret rares. So without further ado, everybody is excited to see who's gonna win. You guys know we're rooting for the Cardbreaker GT man. Just trump, <laughs> trump this battle. So of course, we're, we're gonna win. We're gonna win. Cracking into this box. So for those who don't know, this is the new mini box for retro pack. It is four packs per mini box. You of course get the nine cards per pack beautiful box art konami really crushed this one and of course we're going to crush the competition because that's what we do here that's what we do <laughs> so here we go so this is how it's packaged this is how it's packaged so we do have that beautiful retro pack throwback artwork it Get looks pretty though this. it looks so it's very pretty. pretty so pretty all right so we're gonna go we're doing a mini box each or are we doing a uh, pack pack each how are we doing this one go mini box each Let's do a mini box each because we have six boxes that, uh, that we forgot to mention in the intro. But yeah, we have quite a bit. All right. So first first off, let's like appreciate these cards. Like obviously we're not going to take too much time because we got six boxes each. But wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. Seven projects. Wow. 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 Konami crushed this. Like these look Old so school good. design too. Yeah. Wait till you wait till you open your packs. I know that you're a vintage collector and this is this hits all the buttons of nostalgia. Got the UFO <laughs> turtle, upstart goblin, oh, B skull dragon. So just a rare on our first pack, but hey, that is okay. We've got three to go. Elegant, arm ninja, giant soldier of stone, and cannon soldier. Totally okay. Hey, we're just warming up. That's okay. We don't want to. We don't want to pull the biggest card right off the bat, because then we just we automatically win. We win the challenge, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next pack. Can we get some magic? Let's get a hollow. We got the space typhoon. Senju, Giant Germ, Umaruka, and it is the Catapult Turtle. We Ooh, got our first holo. Super. Dude, these look so good. Oh my gosh. Like these, these don't look exactly like the OG hollows, but these are close. And it's also like on video, it's very hard to like judge it. You really have to see it face to face. Yeah. Yeah. Once you, I, I hope you pull some hollows, you know, for, for my sake, I hope you don't, but I do hope you do <laughs> just so you can see them. <laughs> But with the, the increased pull rates they did for this set, I, I'll, I'll be shocked if you don't pull many, many, many hollows, especially from what I've been seeing from everybody. All right, Tomb World, we got the Flying Kamikiri, Molten Destruction. I, I This is hitting every single button for nostalgia, and I am loving it. Giant Germ and a Graceful Charity, just a rare. Still, that's probably still gonna be a pretty good one. Graceful Charity has just been playable in, uh, you know, obviously Goat Format, Dragumo, Trap Hole. All right, last pack for a mini box. We hit one hollow. Can we hit one of those secrets? I don't know if there's been any confirmed secret rare ratios, but obviously, you know, we hit the one hollow. I don't know if it's just as completely random like blisters go, but we're going to find out. Toon Mermaid, 
Gaia Power, Luminous Sparks. Come on. Secret Rare. Oh, I'm just a Heavy Storm. Ah, Heavy Storm. <laughs> oh, Heavy Storm. That, 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 that's hollow, right? It. Giant Shoulder. Another Thunder Dragon. I wonder if this is going to carry some good value like all the other ones do. But hey, we pulled one hollow in our first mini box. Let's let's see if you got any better magic. All right. Flipping over to me now. All right. So let's go ahead and open up this. It's always very difficult to open up these wrappers sometimes. Let's see it. Let's see it. I cannot get over how good these rares look. Rares, hollows, all this stuff. I'm excited. I'm excited, dude. Now, the one thing I, 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 I've always judged with, uh, with Yu-Gi-Oh! is the fact that they, they never have multiple pack designs. But I guess they're, they're keeping with the, the retro pack feel to it. So maybe that's why it's only one pack art. Um, but but I, I always appreciate when they have multiple designs. Like when they have like Ghost from the Past as an example. But yeah, let me go ahead and uh, open this up real quick. I know we do a, a, a card trick to this, so let me flop pop four to the front here. All right, seven tools. Ooh, yeah, I'm I'm seeing what you mean, but the the old school feel, black black pendant. We have the elegant egotist, the thousand dragon, black illusion. A lot of these used to be like supers too, um, or rares. Yeah, they kind of Molten. went up and down on some of them. <laughs> we pulled the summon skull off the bat, my friend. It's all. Oh, damn. Okay, but it's not an ultra rare. It's only a super, which is a... Uh, I, I prefer more of an ultra, but still pretty damn pretty. Pretty damn pretty. It's probably got to be up there. Something Skull's been a classic. Oh, yeah. Right now, so you're already you're hitting hot. That's what, two points <laughs> yeah. for you so far? So far, but of course, we'll, we'll have the total tally points towards the end. Yeah, of course. All right. Cannon, Curse of Dragon, Malo Velo, U UFO Flying, Giant Trunade, Upstart, and... Oh, <laughs> Dude! Blue Eyes White Dragon! What the heck, man? <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie, the stream cut out so I can't see your camera right now. But I heard your reaction, I'm just like, oh, what did he pull? He pulled a secret it's gotta be it. <laughs> uh, uh, there it goes, oh my god, the blue eyes. <laughs> wow, I pulled both uh, both cards that I really, really like, so... Well, you just crushed me in the first mini box. Well, uh, obviously there's more to go, more to go, so... We'll see. We'll see if my luck continues. This is rough already. Can I throw in the towel? I'm kidding. We don't back down <laughs> from a challenge. Never. All right, man eater. But oops, I threw that card away. That was a uh, arm ninja, mystic tomato, nimble, giant rat, the molten, and the right arm of the forbidden one. But it's only a rare though, so we're not counting that for points. But it's probably still decent though. So interesting to uh -huh. see it as a rare. Like I remember Dark Beginning One was just a common, and so, but at least I got a little bit of a rarity bump in retro pack. Exactly. All right, four to the front. All right, Flame, Harpy Lady. Look at the get the Cyber Hybrid Lady. That'd be great too. Ryujin, Giant Tune, Sonic Bird, and the ooh, we got the left and right. right. <laughs> what are the chances of that? Okay. okay. <laughs> what? But of course, it's only a rare, so that won't be up for points. But that is a great start for my first box. I guess your move, your move, man. All right, guys, before we get into more epic verses, today's video is sponsored by our boys at Ultra Pro. You ever had those moments where you just want to protect your cards and you have a little, little two-year-old walk around that might potentially bend those cards? That's where the top loader comes into play. These, of course, are the amazing top loaders that they sent me recently. Obviously, I got a bunch that they sent, and these are perfect for a collector watching this video, especially for those that want to sell these cards in a reach or just to look, you know, make sure they are pristine and perfect. And of course, it protects your cards, it protects your investments, and that's what we care about here in this channel, it protecting our investments. Definitely check out the affiliate link down below, check out the Ultra Pro. They have more than just this stuff. But nevertheless, guys, check out that affiliate link, help support the show and get videos like this every single week. And I'll definitely see you in the verses. See you wins. So I me. For me to win. Oh gosh, oh gosh, what did I get myself into? What did I get myself into? So for time's sake, we did actually open up the rest of the four boxes, but we kind of kept everything together. So that way you don't see us opening up these mini boxes every time. So I do have my four packs from those mini boxes. So uh, we've got a lot of ground to make up here. A lot of ground to make up. You pulled the blue eyes and the summon skull. Like what in the world? <laughs> 
Uh, we gotta pull a secret now. Like, uh, there's not much better. I think the Blue Eyes is, what, the third best card in the pack? Uh, it, is, yes, it is, yes, it is. Shining Angel, Giant True Nade, and the Solemn Judgment, the original Ooh, that, No. I love that. <laughs> These that look is, so that good, is. dude. That is sexy. I hope I, uh, yeah. hope I get to see the Blue Eyes or the Red Eyes or something. I want to see what an Ultra Rare looks like. Man Eater Bug and Twin Headed Thunder Dragon. Oh, this is so, this is fun. This is so much fun. I knew these were going to be fun whenever I first, like, saw the announcement and just how much hype was surrounding them. And then there's, like, all this hate towards them. It's like, no, it's going to be fun. It's going to bring everybody back. And look, that's exactly what it did. We got yep, the nostalgia, nostalgia. Exactly. Giant Germ, Luminous Spark, Sonic Bird. Come on, Secret Rare. Oh, it's the Lord of D. All right, so I get the Lord of D, you get the Blue Eyes. How is that fair? <laughs> Magic Chammer, <laughs> Hane Hane, Seven Tools, and Grape Keepers. Ah, we got... Just two super so far. He's crushing us with the blue eyes. Let's uh, let's get our boy red eyes. Let's get. I, I would love to see the copycat. Of course, Cyber Harpy Lady is, is the big one. Uh, Tune World sends you again, and it is the right arm. Okay. Well, we we wonder if we're gonna be able to complete Exodia. So. Ooh, that'd be cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that would be pretty cool. Mask of Darkness, Magic Jammer. Oh, come on, Breaker Army, bless us right now in the comment section. Give us some good luck. We need it. <laughs> Mystical Space Typhoon, last pack of mini box number two, UFO Turtle, Shining Angel. Oh, I just skipped right to the Penguin Soldier. So that is another another super at least. I don't know if Penguin Soldier has any crazy value, but this looks almost just like the Starter Deck Joey Super. Like, pretty much exactly. And I think we just had this like a very similar ending of our pack as we did before. Seven tools, Manor Bug, Twin Hit Thunder Dragon. So Yeah, it, it's very similar, yeah. Yeah, very similar. So Penguin Soldier and what did I get? Penguin Soldier and uh, Solemn Judgment. So I, I can't complain with that second mini box. We just haven't seen a secret yet. I already got my packs ready, ready to go. Let's do this thing. Take it easy on me. I need to see all <laughs> rares in this box, all rares. All right, four to the front. Is, 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 you know why you're not winning? It's because you don't put four to the front. That's what it is. I'm just kidding. Is that, is that what it is? All right, I guess we're <laughs> All right, Flame Swordsman, Curse of Dragon, Magic Jammer, Black Illusion. All right, Mystic Tomato, Molten, and a Flute of Summoning Dragon. Okay, only a rare though. All right. You know, I haven't seen very many of the Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon get pulled. Um, I know in the original Retro Pack, it was a promo, so I was happy to see they actually included it. I was wondering if they were gonna do just a promo reprint of that too. Uh, maybe, maybe uh, obviously this is, this is the Retro Pack, they remade the first one, so maybe do Retro Pack 2 uh, remake as well. So we'll see how that goes down the road. All right, Mystic Space, Gaia, Power, and the Wall of Illusions. And this is, uh, okay, I th for some, I, th I thought it was secret for a moment, but it's just uh, the font looks a little different. But yeah, it's only a rare. Only. Yeah, that's a, that's a rarity bump, too. I think it was just a comment from Meta Raiders. Was it? I, th I think I think you're right. I think you're right. All right, here we go. I'm, so it's not, not super great on this second box, but we'll see what the final two packs have in store. It that way. I got some catching up. <laughs> All right, Giant True Nade, Ult Star, and ooh, a Catapult Turtle. So, so. I'll try there with that one. <laughs> All right, so that will be up for points. All right, final pack magic on the second box. If you guys are enjoying this, definitely, definitely press a like. And if you want to see more of this, let me know as well. Uh, magic, seven tools, Toon World. I wish that was a, a super, but it's fine. Molten and a Swords Reveal Light. Swords. Super rare. So I'll take that to the bank as well. All right, that is all for me. Well, as you guys just saw, we actually have a fighting chance now that he kind of sort of struck out on that mini box. Yes, he pulled two supers, but they are just supers and probably not the craziest supers. So we still have a chance. We got a fighting chance. Here we go. But like he mentioned before, definitely drop a like on this video. This is definitely unique, uh, unique style for the Cardbreaker GT channel, but I, I love it. This is fun. I've never done a live pack battle. So this is, this is definitely a first and I hope for many more to come. Space Typhoon, Gaia Power, Mother Grizzly, and it is the Megamorph. I wonder if I should do the uh, the old pack trick there. Megamorph is cool to see as a rare, though. That's kind of, kind of interesting. All right, pack number two. Let's go. want to see... A, a, give me an Ultra, at least. Like, come on. I'm not gonna yeah, you haven't seen it yet. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no Ultras. Uh, maybe I, I picked the wrong boxes. 
Dune World. <laughs> Dune Mermaid. Weather Grizzly. A lot of Magic Ruler stuff here. And it is the... Ooh, La Jin. Ooh, that is a super? Cool yeah. A super? super? La Jin, the Mystical Genie of the Lamp. That looks so nice. Oh, wow. Curse of Dragon, Trample, Eliminator Bug, and Gaia. We had a, like, a Magic Ruler beginning and then a Legend of Blue Eyes ending. Check that out. <laughs> I think this... Aside from, is it one of like legendary collections he might have a super, or is it the uh, the the Kaiba briefcase? I think he's a super as well. Um, and then obviously the original retro pack. That's just that's cool to see. Yeah, it's, it's very rare to see that super. Yeah, yeah, it's very nice. Zenju, Giant Germ, Luminous Spark, Sonic Bird. I kind of spoiled it. Sonic Bird into the Axe of Despair. The the censored artwork. They uh, they recently did a uncensored version of that one. So. Oh. All right. Pack number four. Mini box. What is this? Number three? Indeed. Indeed. Here we go, guys. Give us some good luck. Dune Summon Skull, Black Illusion Ritual, the Space Typhoon, Mystic Tomato, and it is the Exodia, oh, the Forbidden Ultra, One. Ultra. <laughs> ultra rare. It's the ultra. Rare. Well, at least I get to see an ultra. It's not quite the blue eyes level, but hey, I will absolutely take that. So there's my first ultra that we have pulled. And yeah, I gotta give it to them. They did a they did a really good job. It's obviously not the same as the original Ultras, but mm -hmm. much better than the earlier reprints they did in like 2010. So yeah, hats off to Konami for for actually actually giving us a really good product that we all were really wanting. Yeah, I, I definitely agree. As we roll into my my four packs here, um, the one like the like obviously you and I were both massively into like the old school like i'm not sure what your history is if you want to introduce a little bit of your, your history on, on Yu Gi Oh, but for me i grew up with the originals and um so like big fan of course the uh, the lobs the M mrds like the, the, and then my, my favorite is of course the uh feral, feral servants but uh yeah I, I definitely grew up with the originals oh gate guardian <laughs> ultra rare is that an ultra what i didn't know gate yep. was an ultra yeah. retro pack well, it, originally, of course, it was a secret rare, if you, if you recall, from MRD, but yeah. All right, so our second Ultra is a Gate Guardian. Oh, from... my gosh. <laughs> but I love opening stuff like this. This is like, this is like brings back so much memories as a little kid. So like I, I collected way back in the day. You know, I had the, start, the starter decks on release pretty much, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, my mm -hmm. dad got me into the game, bought some decks from like 7-Eleven, different gas stations. I remember him and I learning how to duel and it just kind of went from there. You know, it's, uh, it's, it's been a lot more fun doing it with adult money. That's for sure. Oh yes, I agree. And I got, I got my second swords here. So I got a little play set going on with swords. Now, um, funny, funny you mentioned about the, uh, the star decks, cause like, uh, obviously the, the star deck Kaibas only had one blue eyes in that star deck. So I was like, I have to have three blue eyes. So I bought three. Right. And I, I you know, as a kid, you, you, you never realize like how much these cards are going to be worth in the future. And the fact that I have three first edition uh, Star Deck Kaiba cards, I've graded one already. I got a PSA 8 on it, but uh, the other two I, I, I left ungraded. But like I think I think I think if it's graded PSA 10, I think that they're at least a thousand dollars, if not more. First edition, if you got first edition, we're talking like seven thousand dollars, sir. <laughs> well, for even for Star Deck Kaiba, like Star Deck uh, Kaiba first edition Blue Eyes White Dragon. Yeah. It's only a PSA eight though, so maybe it meant, it meant like tens, so like PSA tens, oh, yeah. so PSA eight yeah. for sure. About like probably around about the thousand dollar mark because I think a raw copy goes for that. Yeah, that makes sense. Eighteen fifty. What is that? Oh, another right. illusion. Aha. <laughs> nothing there, nothing. All right, final pack on this uh, third box for me. That's insane, though. I never, I never owned any of the first edition ones, so I must have not gotten into it like right upon release. I must have got like the second wave with the unlimited ones, or maybe I did and I just lost it or traded away, like when I was a kid, because yeah, yeah. I didn't care between first edition and unlimited back then. No, I don't think any of us did. For for me, like uh, when I saw first edition, like printed right over here, I was like, oh my god! Like I don't know, like e even though I didn't really, uh, I knew what it meant, but at the same time, it just it, just, it looks a lot cooler having that first edition versus not having it. And um, so, like as a kid, I was like, oh, I, I gotta get first edition. So like uh, when so LOBs, and uh, uh, very few of them was was first edition for me, but when it came to like uh, the MRDs and uh, above, I got I got a lot of first edition of those. And I got Sengen old uh, super. I think that's actually a really uh, it's a decent super. Yeah, so 
That is my second super. So I got an ultra and a super from that box. You got an ultra and two supers. You had another swords of revealing light. Oh yeah, you, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. Two, two supers and an ultra. So rolling into our next couple packs, we've got another four. So here we go, mini box number four, kicking us off. We're not doing too hot, guys. We're not doing too hot, but we're not gonna give up hope just yet because we do have- still, still a lot more boxes left. Yes, exactly. We have we have a lot more boxes left. This is mini box number four of six. Umaruka, Space Typhoon, the Eye of Power, Mother Grizzly, and it is the Messenger of Peace. Originally a super from Magic Ruler. Thunder Dragon, Gazelle, the King of Mythical Beasts. I wish they would have upgraded that one to a super. That would have been cool. I think it, um, I can't remember if it actually has a hall of printing at all in the TCG. I know it does in the OCG. I just don't think it does. Maybe in Legendary Collection, Yugi's World, maybe. No. Not, not that I know of, no. Not that I know, yeah. I know of. Weather Grizzly and another Penguin Soldier. So there's a, a dupe for us. Unfortunately, not a, not a very good dupe, I don't think. But it looks nice, at least. I got to give it that. No, I've noticed that they have a theme. Uh, I've noticed I've seen a lot of Magic Ruler stuff, and then right after the Hollow or Potential Rare or something like that, it's a lot mm -hmm. of Legend of Blue Eyes cards. Like, I, mm. I, I don't know if you picked up on that because I know you're doing the pack trick, but every time I, I've pulled like my Rare or the Hollow, it's been a different mm. set. Here's yeah. Unruh, Toon Summon Skull, Gaia Power, Miruka, and it is the Time Wizard! Ooh, that, that's like, a good card. That's a nice one. That is a nostalgia. nice one. Just a super, but yes, absolutely. Very nostalgic. Very, very nostalgic. So look, Gaia, Flame Swordsman. Oh, okay, it's Metal, Metal Raiders, Baby Dragon, and Polymerization. But yeah, like it's been, not every time, but pretty close. They do some, mm -hmm. uh, some spread of a different set, like all four cards in a row. All right, last pack for mini box number four, Luminous Spark, Toon Summon Skull, The Toon World, send you and give us the secret it is another exodia <laughs> oh, duplicate on. i mean i guess if we're going to get a duplicate ultras aren't too bad to get duplicates of i would have liked to have seen you know a red eyes or a blue eyes of course or maybe even a dark magician but you know it is what it is i'll take it that's uh Best of luck with box number four. That was three hollows in that one, too. It's kind of interesting, like, with the both of us, we haven't pulled any secrets yet, so... It, it, it must be that hard to get? It's gonna happen now, like, you're gonna pull the secrets. This is how this is. I know, uh, that's usually how it works, right? You mention it, you, you get it. You ask, you, you receive. I just hope All it's right. the worst one, for my sake. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we got the Toon Summon Skull flying. You got, oh, a barrel. Uh, this is not a secret, though. Yeah, it's only a only a rare, only a rare on that one. Weird they brought one that one down all the way from an ultra to just a rare. Yeah, I, I want. Yeah, I, I guess because uh, it's not that useful in combat or a battle, but you know, at the same time, it's still a decent card. Yeah. All right, here we go. Manator bug, twin headed thunder dragon trap hole giant germ black illusion, uh, tune. Gaia and the Harpy Lady Sisters. Close. Only a rare. Close Only to the Harpy rare. Lady. That's right, Cyber Harpy Lady. Yep. And uh, also too, even though some, uh, even though we're not pricing out the rares, some of the rares actually are de some of the rares are actually pretty decent price. Um, there's some that are like breaking the five dollar mark just for a rare. Yeah. So I'm actually curious. I'm gonna look at those while you're opening. Let's see. Karibo right. Barrel Dragon's a good one. Mm. Oddly enough, left arm is pretty pricey. Oh wow, okay. okay. It's like three bucks. Or no, four bucks. All right. Sign bird, shining, giant germ, and another catapult turtle. Okay. That makes a place so, for us. I think I pulled two and you pulled what? Two? No. Yeah, two three. as well, yep. Be, uh, either I pulled one and you pulled two or I pulled two and you pulled two, something like that. All right. Final pack for this box. Come on, get, let's get a secret. Let's get a secret. At least one from the both of us. All right, here we go. Manderbug, Arm Ninja, Gaia Power, Sonic Bird, Giant Rat, Two Mermaid, and a Fissure Rare. Okay. That is yeah, not going to be sure. priced out, unfortunately. All right. All you, my friend. All right, we're moving on to mini box number five. Let's see. Let's see. We got to. I need to correct myself. We pulled a total playset of Catapult Turtle. I pulled one. He has pulled two. I'm the one who's pulled two Penguin Soldiers. So hopefully we don't complete our playset of Penguin Soldiers. We need to see the secrets. Neither of us have pulled a secret <laughs> yet. 
Shining nope, Angel. Not at all. Giant Germ. Gaia Power. Come on, baby. Sonic Bird and ooh, Summon Skull. So at least I'm mad. There you go. That one. I'll okay. take that. I'll take that. Okay, okay. Slowly chipping away. You know, I know you pulled the the blue eyes, but hey, I'm making my way back. I'm climbing. I'm fighting. Fighting out of this hole. <laughs> <laughs> this trap hole. Yeah, hey, 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 there we go. There we go. Using Yu-Gi-Oh terminology in real life. <laughs> Giant rat, Toon Mermaid, Manga Reran, Toon Summon Skull, and it is the Graceful Charity yet again. Just a rare of that beauty, the classic. I'm looking to get this. All right, come on. This is going to be actually kind of upsetting if neither of us pull a secret rare. You know, I've seen. I so would be very people, upset. Yeah, I've seen so many people open these, and they're getting like two or three secrets per, you know, maybe four or five mini boxes. I'm just like, <laughs> where's ours? What's going on? Mother Grizzly, Toon World, and the right arm of the Forbidden One. So none of neither of us have pulled a leg. I think we both pulled arm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What is going on here? What is going on? There's some shenanigans. There are some shenanigans at play. All right, it's gonna be in this pack right here. Watch this pack right here. I'm calling it. Giant Rat, give us a secret. We got the Upstart Goblin, giving you some life points. Nimble, Omanga, Rising Air Current, and it is the Gaia the Dragon Ooh. Champion. Not quite. It is. What's funny, it's originally a secret, so we can yes. make out a secret <laughs> in a way. Uh, this looks yeah. so good, too. Like I, I'm such a fan of these prints. They, they did a really good job. Obviously, it has its, like, its differences between the, the originals and then obviously the reprints, but these just look so much better mm -hmm. than what they gave us for the original Legendary Collection sets. All right. Now, out of these four, let's pull at least one secret. Come on. I got, I got essentially eight more packs left. Essentially. All right, here we go. Four to the front. Let's do this thing. All right, we have Palmization. The Baby Dragon. M Milo. Twin-Headed. The Gaia. The uh, Sonic Bird, the Giant Rat, the Toon Mermaid, and right, Genki Ultra Rare. Very nice. Okay. Weird uh, print line on it. What? Is it yeah. Like part of the hollow? <laughs> yeah. That is definitely going to be a PSA 8 right there. Yeah, definitely. Especially yeah. with the centering. If you just, I, I wouldn't even grade that one, to be honest, but yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't either. It was not worth it. But it's still an Ultra Rare, so we'll, we'll pretend that line doesn't exist. Yeah, yeah, it's we don't see it. All right, let's do this. So, we're getting ultras, that's for sure, but we're 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 not getting those secrets. I don't know why. All right, here we go. This is a new first time I saw this one. Harpy Lady, Hain Hain, uh, Malo Manga Toon Summon, Flying Hero, and the oh, we got our first leg here, the left leg. All right, we almost got a place it of uh, between two, us both of uh, uh, Exodia. Can we complete the Exodia? That's, if we can't pull a secret, let's try and pull all the Exodia. That was what the left leg you pulled, so we need the right leg. I mean, you have two heads of Exodia, so. <laughs> you, 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 yeah, you can share, yeah, you can give me one. Giant Trap Hole, Magic Jammer, Hain Hain, Mother Toon, Giant Rat, Upstart Goblet, and my own Penguin Soldier. I think it's my first Penguin Soldier. Yep, so that's a super. And the final. All right. Final pack. Come on. Well, final pack is mini box number five. Yeah, exactly. Wow, no. I'll be very, very upset if we don't get a secret. My title for this video will be Worst Set Ever. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Scammed. <laughs> Konami scams us all. Yeah, exactly. Luminous Spark, Toon, and a B Skull Dragon. Ter terrible centering, but it's only a rare. Notice All right, the centering that... is very strange in this set. I don't know, like, hey, I'm just happy they gave us something that looks good. But yeah, here we go. Last mini box for us both. I honestly can't believe it came down possibly to this. To try and pull <laughs> a secret rare with these increased secret rare pulls and ratios yes and blah, blah, blah. they promised it too they, they, they promised, promised it. it i wonder if it even says it on the pack here probably not it's probably just like the same thing as the original one yeah no specific card rate is guaranteed blah 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 no you told mm. us it'd be increased chances for secret rares so give me the secret rare dang it give it <laughs> here we go flying comic carry 
UFO Turtle. Maybe I'll do the pack trick in the last couple packs. Just to, I don't know, spice this up a bit. Shining Angel and... Oh, the red eyes! Ooh, I will nice. take that, baby! Red Eyes yeah. is my boy. Oh, that looks so nice. You know, this looks really close to a Starter Deck Joey copy of Red Eyes. Like, it really does. Like, it's mm -hmm, definitely, it obviously, you know, it has that, that original, what, what I like about it the most, it says Red Eyes B Dragon and not Black Dragon. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I love it. It does have, oh, it's got some print lines. That's a bummer, but I'll take it. I will take it. That just, just gets us out of the hole a little bit more. I think we still have some uh, some fighting to catch up to the Blue Eyes, but hey, we're, we're, we're making a comeback. All right, pack trick. Let me see. One, two, three, and four. Here we go. Maybe the pack trick is all the luck. Here we go. Harpy Lady, Gazelle, Juragumu, Man Eater Bug, Manga Riran, Gaia Power, Umuruka. One more card, Nimble One Manga, and it is the Solemn Judgment again. Okay, okay. I mean, that's got to be a pretty good duplicate. That's got to be a good one. Solemn Judgment has been a staple in many, many decks. Like many years. Some, yeah. Yeah. Like mm. pretty much ever. <laughs> It has been used. Here we go. La or two more, two more packs. Last mini box. Arm Ninja, Zell, Black Pendant, Cannon Soldier, Giant True Nade, Mother Grizzly, Senju, Manga, and here it is. Secret, secret. Oh, it's my own wall version. We are being bamboozled. We are being bamboozled. Konami lied to us. We're gonna have to come, come on. back with no another secrets? pack battle. This is insane. We have to. We have we to. We have to. Comes all, all comes down to this, guys. Here we go. Curse of Dragon. I'm gonna be so upset. Seven tools. One of us has to pull it. Come on. Black Pendant. Giant Trunade. Sonic Bird. Mystic Tomato. Nimble again. And it is the. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my gosh. Well, I, I officially have my play set of Penguin Soldiers, so if I want to re return some monster cards from the field to their owner's hands, then I got it. I can return a whole entire field. Plus some. Plus some. So I'm going to pass it to you and hope that you can pull a secret just because, like, I, if you pull one, obviously you're going to mm -hmm. win, and that's okay because <laughs> I want to see a secret. I want to see a secret too. But yeah, final box for me. Let's do the sting. All right. I do have it can't be that hard. I think you have uh, four coming as well. So we might yes, have I have four. Uh, redemption battle. Neither of us pull a secret. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I definitely agree. And plus, like, I don't mind opening these because these are like pretty fun open. I'm not sure how like like, like views wise if, if other people are nostalgic for it as we are, but you know we never know. Like for for me, it's all about the fun of the, and enjoy the pack opening. Oh, absolutely. Especially the nostalgic part. Like, I've, I've noticed a lot of people have been watching these just because exactly that. People love the nostalgia. Mm -hmm. Rising air. Ooh, scapegoat. Ultra. Interesting. Okay. I'll take, I'll take that. Too. That's a staple as well. I think in a lot of, obviously, I think the goat format was named after. Go format. Mm hmm. Exactly. All right. And uh, in terms of, in terms of Go format, they're still like reinventing that format even to this day. Yeah, it's crazy to see all the different possibilities and stuff that you can do with original decks of that era. All right, here we go. Ooh, Sujin. Okay. I mean, it'll, it'll be it'll be it'll match nicely with my Gate Guardian. So I'm missing two of the pieces there. Mm, it'll match nicely with my Gate Guardian. Mm. <laughs> Come on, I still want to. I still want a secret though. Can't be that hard. Can't be that hard. All right, here we go. Can soldier, harpy lady. I'm rooting for you. Come on. All right, dude. World flying. Oh baby. Ooh. And a a legend. That's a good one. Yeah, it's a super. All right, final pack. Final pack magic. Dun, dun, dun. Can this? Come on. Can. Can this be a secret? I, I'm really am rooting. Like we, this we've got to see a secret. Like I am perfectly okay with losing this battle. Yugi gods, bless us now with the secret here. Let's go. All right, Magic Jammer, Flame Swordsman, Seven Tools, Molten Destruction, Giant Germ, Black Illusion's Ritual, Two Mermaid, and a Wall of Illusion. We have been blocked by the wall of illusions uh, and it turned back to our hands. Wow. Wow. No secrets from 12 boxes. 12 total boxes. 
That is insane. That's what? How many packs we just opened? Forty-eight. <laughs> yeah. All right. Now, I guess now we'll go ahead and tally up our points here. So let, let's just showcase the cards that we got. So for supers, I got the Catapult Turtle, Solemn Judgment, Penguin Soldier. We got three of those. Lajin, which I am very happy with. Another Penguin Soldier. Time Wizard, Summon Skull, Gaia, our third Penguin Soldier, our second Solemn. And unfortunately, I got three Ultras and two of them were the same. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm very upset. <laughs> That's like a slap in the very face with two of the same. Like, I'm not, I'm, I can't lie. The Exodia is a nice one, but to hit two of them, come on. We could have definitely shared yeah, the yeah, level a little on. bit. Yeah, come on a little bit. So we got, we got Skateboat, Skateboat for me. Raigeki, obviously the Blue Eyes White Dragon, and the Gate Guardian Ultra Rares. Now for my supers, we got Lejin, we got a Penguin Soldier, Catapult Turtle, Summon Skull, another Catapult Turtle, two Swords, Ovian Lights, and my Sengen. Alright, so right now from, we tied up to like four, uh, 19 points for uh, card breaker GT and my 14 points for myself. Now the final card is that blue eyes white dragon, and that card of course is forty dollars and ninety cents. So that my friend is in fact a four pointer, giving me the score of twenty to nineteen. Oh one point. <laughs> you beat me by one, one point. point. Yeah. Wow. Oh man! So it was actually pretty damn close. It was actually pretty damn close. So that the the card that edged me out was that blue eyes white dragon. Now, granted, we have some rare cards that were um, probably worth points as well, like the the left leg or the left arm, whatever, as well as uh, um, I think barrel dragon. I think was worth points, but we didn't we didn't count those in the the, the score of this. But wow, man, wow. 20 to 19 and obviously none of us pull a secret rare so we definitely need to do this again yes absolutely you know i thought i had a fighting chance with just the amount that i pulled plus pulling the two exodias um that was a lot of fun though like i can't believe that none of us neither of us pulled a secret rare out of six boxes each like what the odds of that have got to be so low with the increased ratio pulls but i'll take 19 you know with you pulling the blue eyes i will take that I'm happy to come back anytime and do this battle. This was so much fun. This is a, a first for me and definitely will not be the last time. Hell yeah. And obviously, if you, want, if you want to check out his channel, link, of course, will be in the description. And of course, it will be tagged. And I think you can actually uh, tag in the title as well and click on the link on there and the title as well. So definitely check it out. Um, so basically explain a little bit about uh, some future projects that's um, coming around for you and your channel. Well, we got some exciting stuff. So for those of you who may not know who I am, uh, again, my name is Cardbreaker GT. I do a lot of vintage openings, box breaks, but recently I started doing some mystery packs. I've got some crazy stuff in the works. You guys are gonna be very excited to see that. And I'm always buying collections and doing some crazy things, collab. So definitely subscribe because you, you just, honestly, you just never know, but it's mostly a lot of like vintage breaks that I've got coming up. Definitely, definitely. Um, but that's pretty much all I got, so I guess we'll see you next time. If you want to watch another video of another pack battle that I did, definitely check out this video right over here. And of course, we'll see you next time. My name is Talos. Peace.